is the brother means they confirmed that m is a boy so m can be kept in the square box as m is the brother m and n are in the same generation okay m is the brother of n means uh, m is nothing but a boy kept in the square box and uh, m is the brother of n means m and n are in the same generation okay next o is the father of m o is the father of uh, m if o is the father of m father means he is male o is the father of m i can tell you one thing when m and n are siblings this o will be the father of n also okay o will be the father of n also yes or no see uh, ma'am i don't know the gender of n now how can i say o is the father of n also gender of n is not having anything here okay you can simply say like if m and m is the brother then o is the father of m means o will be the father to n also okay next p is the brother of q you don't know where is p where is q here in the question so i am not representing this condition for now let's go for the next q is a daughter of n so q is a daughter of n so daughter means next generation so arrow mark and then daughter means uh, it's nothing but female okay now you understood where is q p is the brother of q okay p is the brother of q means p is nothing but a boy brother of q means uh, this n will be the parent of p also okay who is the uncle of p so n is nothing but parent guys so whether n is nothing but father or mother we don't know okay simply you can say that n is nothing but a parent uh, n is nothing but parent to q and p so who is the uncle of p means uh, uncle is nothing but mother side or father side so mother's brother or father's brother okay so here gender of n is not known to me now ma'am how can we answer means uh, that will be not having any effect here okay who is the uncle of p means so p's uh, parents uh, siblings will be the uncle of p okay so p parent is nothing but n so n so uh, brother is nothing but m so he will be the uncle so whether the gender of the parents is known to us or not known to us it doesn't matter here okay so i'm repeating the question logic once again based on this next question try solving the questions guys okay m is the brother of n means by reading the statement m is a male so put it in square box brother means same generation o is the father of m if o is father of m then definitely o will be the father of n also as m and n are siblings okay and even the final question when you are solving ma'am n gender is not given na means uh, n gender is not having anything to do here okay whether they are your mother's side uh, brother of uh, your mother or father's brother uh, then he will be uncle to you for sure okay clear with it right all the students understood the question if yes please raise the hands and acknowledge guys you understood the question okay see next time they will give you names but don't get confused by the names if they give alphabets it's easy to write if they give names it will be little tricky but not difficult try solving the next one here is the next question try solving the question guys what's the answer for the question please see here a is b sister a is b sister means b is here a is b sister na sister means she is a girl 
C is B's mother. Okay. C is B's mother. C is a mother girl. Next. D is C's father. Okay. D is C's father. Father means a male person. Next. E is D's mother. Okay. E is D's mother. So this is the question they have given, guys. Okay. So just to confuse you, they have uh, given like this. They can ask you from the bottom or they can ask from the top. Any which way is fine. But make sure that you are answering correctly here. So A is B sister. Then, uh, ma'am, I don't know gender of B means uh, they are not asking questions with respect to B now. So you no need to worry. You can just answer the question here. Okay. So then how is A related to D? How is A related to D means? Uh, so where is A? A is here. Okay. Where is D? D is here. Okay. So D, A is how much? Okay. Related to or otherwise with respect to. How is A with respect to D? Or how is A related to D? That means from D to D, how is A? A is nothing but in the grandson, granddaughter generation, right? As A is a girl, she is nothing but a granddaughter or great granddaughter. One second. Where is D? D is here. Uh, it's nothing but uh, granddaughter, right? So granddaughter, option D is the answer for the question. Because this is nothing but son and daughter's generation from D, if you see. And this is nothing but grandson, granddaughter generation. So you can say that option D is the answer for the question. Okay. I'll repeat the question once again, guys. Though you can represent the question correctly, if you are looking at the answer from A to D, then you might be saying like grandfather is the answer. Okay. Those who are thinking like why grandfather is not the answer, why granddaughter means A related to D or A with respect to D means uh, from D or otherwise with respect to D, you have to answer the question. Okay. From D or otherwise with respect to D, you have to answer the question. So it is nothing but uh, from D, if you see A, he is in grandson, granddaughter generation. So granddaughter is A because A is nothing but a girl. What is the answer for the question? Answer for the question is nothing but granddaughter, option D. Let's go for the next one. So here they have given names, guys. I'll give a minute. Please go through the question. So that while I represent the diagram for this question, you will be not having any doubts. I'll give a minute, go through the question. So just by names, please don't decide the gender. Whatever they have given. If they talk about siblings and they say that uh, one person is mother or father, then that same person will be mother or father to other sibling also. Try solving the question by your own. 243, super fast response. Huh? I'll tell you one thing. Without solving the question, you can answer it directly. Without even drawing the diagram. Yes, yes. Without even drawing the diagram, without solving the main question, you can answer the question. You see the question, what they have asked here. And then what they are asking for to answer. Without drawing the diagram, you can answer the question, guys. What's the answer? Smart way of answering. Choose some smart way of answering the question now. Nah? Okay, super. So let's not take more time here. Sunita is daughter of Karan. Basically, if you solve this with respect to blood relation, Sunita is daughter of Karan means where is Karan? Karan is here. Karan basically boy name, but I'm not fixing. Sunita is daughter means uh, I'm just writing Sunita as daughter of Karan. Okay, next. Kanika is the mother of Karan. Kanika is the mother of Karan means Kanika. She is a mother now. Nah? So her gender will be female. Mita is the wife of Karan. So cross mark because they are maritally related. Mita is the wife of Karan means uh, if Mita is the wife, uh, Karan is a boy. Confirmed. Next. Poonam and Shruti are daughters of Karan. Okay. Poonam and Shruti are daughters of Karan means Poonam will be here. And then Shruti will be here. Daughters of Karan means uh, you can say that they are siblings of Sunita also. Because Karan and Mita are parents for Sunita also. So you can say that uh, collectively this uh, Mita and Karan are uh, parents for Sunita and Pooja and then Shruti. Okay. So how is Shruti related to Karan means Shruti is not uh, Shruti is nothing but uh, daughter to Karan. Okay. 
so how can we answer the question without uh, representing this family tree diagram means uh, you can see here poonam and shruti are daughters of karan okay poonam and shruti are daughters of karan means uh, shruti is daughter of karan na? when we have the representation poonam and shruti are daughters of karan we can take it simply like shruti is a daughter of karan okay how is shruti related to karan means uh, you can easily represent uh, shruti is nothing but daughter to karan okay you can take that representation to solve or otherwise uh, you can just uh, draw the diagram so whenever you are solving puzzle kind of questions uh, that half of the information will be depicted here in the question itself so make sure that uh, you are answering the question with respect to that uh, information let's go for the next one here is the next one try solving the question it is not at all difficult guys make sure that uh, from where you start the question i'll give a minute go through the question try solving the question what is the answer for the question okay so let us solve the question together shobha is niece of ashish shobha is niece of ashish means uh, they said that niece right so niece is nothing but a girl that means shobha is nothing but a girl okay shobha is a niece of ashish ashish gender i am not confirming so ashish i am writing here niece means uh, whatever it might be this ashes gender niece is nothing but ashes might be having a brother might be having a sister so that sister or otherwise the brother's uh, daughter is nothing but shobha right so shobha is the niece means this is the representation i don't know whether she is uh, a daughter from ashes brother or a daughter from ashes sister okay niece means according to the information we know regarding blood relations uh, you can represent like this okay let's go for the next one ashish mother is priya ashish mother is priya means uh, priya you can write here and she is a girl kamala is priya's mother okay kamala is priya's mother you can write kamala here fine next kamala's husband is hari okay fine husband means married na kamala's husband is hari so you can take out the marital person here krishna is the mother in law of hari okay krishna is the mother in law of hari means uh, mother in law means uh, wife's mother na so where will be krishna krishna will be here krishna is the mother in law of hari okay now what is the question how is shobha related to hari okay how is shobha related to hari means hari is here this is nothing but son daughter relation 
and this is nothing but grandson granddaughter this is nothing but great grandson great granddaughter okay so what is the answer for the question answer for the question is a uh, great granddaughter as we know the gender of shobha already they have given in the question as niece so we can say it as a great granddaughter option b is the answer for the question don't have a doubt between option d and option b guys why am i not picking option d means uh, whether uh, she is a daughter from ashish brother or ashish sister we don't know na that season great grandson's daughter or great uh, grand daughter's daughter we don't know so that's the reason option d is wrong okay so what is the answer for the question answer for the question is option b great granddaughter most of you have given the correct answer only but uh, next time you might be getting that doubt why it is not great grandson's daughter or great granddaughter's daughter means uh, our sister is having a brother or sister we are not sure but uh, niece means uh, it is sibling's uh, daughter right uh, that's the reason okay answer for the question is nothing but option b great granddaughter let's go for the next one here is the next one try solving the question guys go through the information of the question i'll give a minute once that is done i'll explain the question it will be easy for you to understand uh, straight away if i represent if you miss any relation that would be difficult try solving the question what's the answer for the question rajan is the brother of sachin okay so we have taken rajan here rajan is the brother means put it in square box rajan is the brother of sachin fine next manik is the father of uh, rajan okay manik is the father of rajan if manik is the father of rajan definitely that manik will be father of sachin also right whether sachin is a boy or not i am not confirming here so i am just uh, representing the scene okay so jagat is the brother of priya and priya is the daughter of sachin okay so priya is the daughter of sachin priya will be coming here okay next jagat is the brother of priya so jagat is the brother of priya jagat will be coming here okay so sachin basically you can take sachin as a boy that means sachin will be the father to this priya and jagat or otherwise simply you can take it as sachin is the parent because as we can't confirm the gender of a person by name okay what is the question that they are asking who is uncle of jagat uncle of jagat means a parents brother na whether it is mother brother or father brother he will be uncle only so here uh, sachin's brother is rajan that means uh, uncle of jagat is nothing but uh, rajan okay option a is the answer for the question clear with it right shall we go for the next question to solve one let's go for the next one so here it say question based on uh, six members guys six family members try solving the question it looks like a little difficult but it is actually very easy whatever the clues they have given whatever the conditions they have given keeping that in mind you can try solving the question in a family six persons a b c d e f okay are there so two married couples this is one clue for you two married couple are there that means uh, four persons will be there uh, out of them uh, two two pairs will be there okay d is the grandmother of a and mother of b okay 
So D is the grandmother. Grandmother of whom? Grandmother means uh, here one person will be there. D is the grandmother of A. Okay. And mother of uh, B. So mother of E, B. This is the representation. Okay. So we don't know what is B's gender and what is A's gender. Don't have a doubt, guys. D is the grandmother means uh, D will be in the top generation between mother or father will be there. So D is grandmother to whom? A. So you can first fix D in the top upper generation and then A in the bottom uh, down generation. And then mother of B. Who is mother of B? D is the mother of B. So B's gender and A's gender, we are not sure. So this is the first statement information. Next, C is wife of B and mother of F. Okay. C is wife of B and mother of F. C is wife of B means B will be boy and then mother of F. Mother of F means uh, you can take like F is here. A and F are in the same generation. One marriage pair is done. Another marriage pair you have to write here. Okay. F is the granddaughter of E. F is the granddaughter of E means uh, she is nothing but a granddaughter, right? So E. So E will be coming here. So two married couples are done and then total six members are done uh, here in the question. Okay. So ma'am, uh, gender of A is not known to me now. So can I answer questions based on this data? Yes, you can answer questions based on this data. It will not affect. So who among the following is one of the couple? Two married couples are there, right? One couple is nothing but D and the other couple is nothing but B and C. So who among the following is one of the couple means uh, one of the couple is nothing but D, E. Option B is the answer for the question. One of the couple is nothing but D, E. Option B is the answer for the question. Okay. Clear with it, right? Uh, students got the point. Shall we go for the next question to solve one? Yes or no? Let's go for the next one. Model 1 questions will be easy. Model 3 questions will be easy. Model 2 will be little tricky. Okay. So try solving the questions, guys. Try solving this question. I'll give two to three minutes of time. Since this question is having so many relations here, try solving this question. Once this is done, now you can uh, answer the question for uh, the given one. Try to solve.
What is the answer for the question? Okay, let's see. Most of you said that uh, option C is the correct answer. So let's represent the given information, guys. Six persons, A1 to A6 are there in the family. A6 is the sister of A3, okay. A6 is the sister of A3 means uh, I am not representing it directly. I am just writing it uh, separately. What is the first clue? First clue is nothing but uh, A6 is the sister of A3, okay. So done. Next. What is the second one? A2 is uh, A5, uh, like A2 is the brother of A5's husband, okay. So second one is nothing but A2 is the brother of whom? A5's husband. A5's husband means definitely A5 is a girl, right? So this is the second one, okay? Don't try to club everything at a time, guys, because uh, we are not having uh, every information with respect to one particular person, right? Every clue that they have given is between uh, two different persons or two different people. When we got a clue, we can club uh, the two conditions so that uh, you please write everything here in detail, okay? A4 is the father of A1 and grandfather of A6. Okay. Already A6 is mentioned in condition 1, right? Now, I am taking the third condition as the main one. Okay. Third condition A6 is mentioned. As third condition is specifying A6 again, I am taking third condition as the main condition and then I am writing the family tree diagram here. A4 is the father of A1. Okay. A4 is the father of A1, done, okay, and grandfather of A6, and grandfather of A6, this is the relation, right, so grandfather of A6 means I don't know what is A1's generation, but I can tell you one thing, like right? A1 is nothing but a parent of A6, so A6 is a sister of A3, right, you can relate this also, and how many are remaining, actually totally six members are there, so, already four members are done. And that A2, you can relate it in the second generation of A1. Okay. So, go for the next one. A5 is the daughter-in-law of A4, right? So, you can confirm that. You can fix A5 here. So, she will be the daughter-in-law of A4. And A1 is a boy. And A1's brother is nothing but A2. Okay. A1's brother is nothing but A2. Okay. A2 is the brother of A5's husband means uh, whatever the condition of clue that we have over there, you can represent here. Done? So now, how many persons are there? Uh, totally six persons are there, right? Uh, again, they gave one more condition. There will be two fathers. One father is A4 and other father is A1. And one mother. One mother means it's A5. Three brothers. Three brothers means uh, A1 is a brother, A2 is a brother. So, now you have to confirm the gender of A3 as a boy, guys, okay? Because they said that we are having three brothers over there, right, in the family. So, now completely the blood relation of this uh, information is done. Who is the husband of A5? Who is the husband of A5 means, uh, what is the answer for the question? Husband of A5 means, where is A5? A5 is here. Husband of A5 is nothing but A1. What is the answer for the question? Answer for the question is nothing but option C, A1. I will tell you one short way of answering these type of questions, guys. So, if you are trying to club first to second, second to third, it will not work. So, first conditions, you try to write independently, like individually. Where you can see the connection, there you can uh, club those two conditions and then represent the same. Okay? So, that's how we will be solving the questions here to solve for the question. Let's go for the next one. Okay, one more question. Who is the husband of A5? That only, na? one second, 8th, 7th. Okay, both are same only. Na? Who is the husband of A5? I Means husband of A5 is nothing but A1. Answer is A1, guys. Option C, A1. Previously, 